Okay, in this section we're going to cover 3C, which is counting atoms part 2. So we're still on atoms, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do some math related to conversions regarding numbers related to atoms. The first thing we need to define is what's called the mole. Now, the mole is a counting unit, and it is defined as the amount of substance that contains the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12. Now, I know that's kind of ugly, and it's kind of you know, a little bit tough to comprehend. We'll do some things to try to make it better, but that is the formal fancy definition, and it's a counting unit like a dozen. If I said you have a dozen eggs or a dozen bagels, you would know that that's exactly 12. And the mole, we're going to get to know that same number um, as a counting unit, and it's big. It's called Avogadro's number, and it is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and it's the number of atoms or molecules in one mole of a substance. Now, more importantly, what that means is that we can use Avogadro's number as a conversion factor. And if you think about the cards, if we made those in your class, there was two options for a conversion factor. So the first option for Avogadro's number would be when we put Avogadro's number on the top, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms oops, or molecules per one mole, or the other side would be if you flipped it over, and if you like the cards, you may want to go ahead and make a flashcard for this, one mole over 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules. Okay, so here we have the two options for how we can use it as a conversion factor. And whatever we want to go to is what's going to be on the top or the unknown and whatever we're going from or we're going to cancel out is on the bottom. Now the only other new conversion factor we're going to add in is what's called the molar mass. Okay, so molar mass is the mass of one mole of a pure substance and the unit is grams per mole and I want you to put a one right there because it's always grams per one mole. Every conversion factor we use in this section, the mole is always going to have a 1. Now numerically, it's equal to that average atomic mass that we were talking about, where the unit for average atomic mass was AMU, and the only difference is the unit here. Molar mass, the unit is grams per mole. Average atomic mass, the unit is AMU. And it's under the symbol on the periodic table. So what I want you to do is take out a periodic table. So if you need to pause right now, take out a periodic table, and I want you to find oxygen. Somewhere under oxygen, you're going to find where it says 16.00 or 15.999, depending on your source. Uh, the periodic tables we use in class have two decimal places. So I'm going to go with 16. And the way that we set up this conversion factor is one of two ways. It's either 16.00 grams per one mole, of oxygen or one mole of oxygen over 16.00 grams. So again, we have two different options for a conversion factor. Whatever you want to go to is going to go on the top. Whatever you want to cancel out or come from is going to go on the bottom. Now, this is just a little map that kind of shows you the units that we're going to be primarily using in this section. If you go from grams to moles, you have to use mol molar mass, which is grams per one mole, and if you're going somewhere between moles and atoms, you're going to use Avogadro's number, which is the atoms per one mole, okay, and that's how we set this up. Now, just without reminding where things are not going to go away, on either end of grams, you also could get anywhere of your metric prefixes, so you still could have to go from milligrams to kilograms, micrograms, any of those metric prefixes, so we don't get to forget those because they could pop up at any time. All right, so let's do some samples, and then obviously we'll do lots more in class. The first one we're going to have is we want to use go between grams to moles, and the first option is figuring out how many moles of sodium are in 32.3 grams of sodium. So we have 32.3 grams of sodium, and we want to know the moles. So again, you want to find sodium on a periodic table. So if you don't have one out, take one of those out. And we're going to start with, the, the requirements are still going to be the same. You're going to start with 32.3 grams of sodium. You want to go two moles. So remember, our conversion factors for molar mass, we want to go two moles. So we're going to put one mole on the top. We find sodium on the periodic table. We see that in one mole of sodium, it's going to have a mass of 22.99 grams. Okay? Again, this comes from the periodic table, periodic table. 
Since this is on the bottom, we're going to divide three significant figures in my original answer. So my final answer here, if I take 32.3, I divide it by 22.99, it's going to be 1.40 moles of sodium. You have to make sure it's not just moles, but it's the um, material that you're dealing with as well. Now, now we're going to do the opposite. I know I crammed that in there just a little bit, but this time we're going to go from moles to grams. So my known is going to be 0.56 moles of iron. I want to know the grams of iron. So no mention of atoms here, so I don't have to use Avogadro's number. I'm still dealing with molar mass. So I'm going to start with 0.56 moles of iron. Remember, I know the first time through, you may not totally get it, and that's fine. You're just doing some practice problems so that when we hit class, we're in, a better, we're in better shape. On the periodic table, you got to find iron. Okay, This time, we want to go 2 grams. So we're going to put the grams of iron on the top. We're going to get the number from the periodic table, which is going to be 55.85. We put 1 mole of iron. We don't really have a great abbreviation of mole. It's MOL. This time, since it's on the top, we take, take 0.56, we multiply it by 55.85, and we figure out that we have 31 grams, two sig figs, of iron. Units are labeled, known and unknown is there, everything is canceled out, we've got the right number of sig figs. Okay, the other one-step conversion we do is between atoms and moles, and this time we use Avogadro's number, okay, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per one mole. So step one, we've got 1.40 moles of sodium. For the sake of time, I'm just going to write known above this. I want to know the unknown. On a test or a quiz, you still have to list them out. I am just want to make sure I get the video done in a timely manner. So I start with 1.40 moles of sodium. I want to go two atoms. So whatever I want to go to is going to be on the top. So I'm going to have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per one mole. Every time we write mole, it gets the one. Now, I want you to take out your calculators, and uh, when you plug this into your calculator, you have to use parentheses or you will not get the right answer. Okay, so it's going to be 1.40 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, three significant figures, because that's what's in my data. Okay, so 8.43 times 10 to the 23rd sodium atoms. If you do not know which buttons to hit on your calculator, you have to ask us, and then we can explain it to you. Okay, now the opposite, we're going to go from atoms to moles. So our known this time is 3.4 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, and our unknown is moles. So we're still atoms to moles, we're still using Avogadro's number, but we have to flip-flop the conversion factor, because this time we want to go 2 moles. So I start with 3.4 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, 2 significant figures, so I put 1 mole of iron, up top, actually I need should have labeled my substances over here too, sodium and sodium. So one mole of iron, this time I'm going to divide by Avogadro's number because I want to cancel out atoms and I want to go two moles. Same conversion factor, I just flip it upside down depending on what I want to go to and what I'm coming from. So again, you have to use parentheses. So take 3.4 times 10 to the 23rd, divide it by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and you should get 0.56 moles of iron. Okay, 0.56 moles of iron. Now, there are situations where we have to do two steps. So we have to use both Avogadro's number and molar mass if we want to go from grams to atoms. And the unit, the pathway for this is you're going to have to go to moles as an intermediate. So this is part of the reason I showed you those two-step conversions last time, from grams to moles, from moles to atoms, or vice versa. So let's do one of these. We've got 0 0.0326 grams of nitrogen. That's my known. I want to go to atoms. So again, I'm going to have to go from grams to moles to atoms. So let me set this one up here, 0 0.326 grams. Again, I know I did the shortcut here and put the known and the unknown in the problem. On tests and quizzes and on problems, I still want you to write it out. So step one, I have to go two moles of nitrogen. Well, I have to find the molar mass on the periodic table. It's going to be 14.01 grams of nitrogen. 
cancels that unit out. And then I need to go two atoms. So since I want to go two atoms, I'm going to have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms on top, and I'm going to have one mole on the bottom. Now, if you don't like putting two steps in a row, you can do part one, get an answer, and then do part two. I am fine with that. You're still going to have things labeled. You're still going to show me the work. So mathematically, I need to take on my calculator 0 0.0326, divide it by 14.01, this is on the bottom, take that, and then I have to multiply, and I have to to use parentheses, otherwise you will get the wrong answer. It's going to happen. So if I do this correctly on my calculator, I should end up with 1.40 times 10 to the 21st atoms of nitrogen. Okay, that's proper, good right answer. Again, if you have issues with that, come see us. We'll show you how to use your calculator. All right, now we're going to do the opposite. This time I'm going to go from atoms to grams. So my known is atoms, my unknown is grams. So I'm going to go backwards. I have to go from atoms to moles first, and then from moles to grams. So 2.01 times 10 to the 41st. Again, we will do lots of problems in class. Do not feel bad. If you are confused, once you get it, it is actually really not that bad. That's what most people will say. So on the top here, I've got one mole of hydrogen. I need to cancel out atoms, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Squeezing this in here, atoms of hydrogen. Then I need to go two grams. So I find hydrogen on the periodic table. I find that in one mole of hydrogen, there is 1.01 grams. Okay, so again, mathematically, I take 2.01 times 10 to the 41st. I divide by, with parentheses, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. I get that answer. I multiply it by 1.01. If I have done it correctly, I should get a heck of a lot of hydrogen, 3.37 times 10, let's see if I can squeeze this in, to the 17th grams of hydrogen. Okay. You have the problems worked out. If you need to come back to the videos, watch them again after we've done them in class. But hopefully after we do some practice problems in class, we should be in good shape. I hope that helps.